Humanity in a grim dark possesses a variety of weapons that are backed by ancient science from the dark age of technology. There are weapons that we are familiar with in the 21st century as well as those that are completely over the top in sci-fi. So here in this video we are going to showcase and explain the 25 different types of weapons based on their technologies and these are going to be ranged weapons that the ground troops of the Imperium utilizes and Mars. So basically by the end of the video you will know what the Imperial troops shoot against their enemies whether it be bullets, missiles, lasers, plasma, chemicals or radiation. So let's get to it. Number 1. Ballistic Weapons So these are weapons that require propellant to push a shell or a bullet from a barrel. The same principle as modern day guns. They fire solid slug ammunition propelled by one of various methods including the combustion of propellant powder or compressed gas. These slugs might be simple solid bullets or explosive shells and the autocannon is an example of such weapons. Number 2. The Bolter Weapons Although these are also a variant of ballistic weapons, the difference here is that after a bolter round is ejected from a barrel, a second stage kicks in as a rocket propellant speeds the caliber round to a higher speed. Such a mix of dual technology grants it a separate entry in this list. There are many types of bolter weapons but the most famous is the bolt gun used by the space marines. Number 3. Laser Weapons these are a type of directed energy weapons that emit high intensity amplified light beams that cause thermal damage on impact with a target. The last guns of the Imperial Guard are prime examples as well as last cannons that are fitted into heavier platforms. These last weapons are powered by a power cell that can be recharged and they have a good penetration power. Number 4. The Fusion Weapons Okay, so the Volcano Cannon is the example of this type. It produces a highly volatile but condensed laser beam. Once the weapon's capacitors are fully charged, this beam passes through a flawless crystal. The only difference is the power source. While the last weapons make use of power cells, the Volcano Cannon takes the energy from a fusion reaction that is basically a micro star. Number 5. Arc Weapons these are used primarily by the Mechanicus and it is made of bulky capacitors which are mainly comprised of zinc plates. The firing of an arc weapon often leads to a high concentration of electricity that has a powerful enough voltage that most enemies are fried upon contact. So in essence, they fire electric bolts which are akin to lightning. Number 6. Galvanic Weapons These weapons which are also primarily used by the Skitari armies of the Mechanicus are sort of railguns which require electricity and chemical combustion to propel a specialized bullet to supersonic speeds. The galvanic weapons, like the caster for example, also has the ability to fire ignis charges that can fry enemies that are in concealed positions. Number 7. Photon Weapons A photon thruster weapon is a type of directed energy weapon used by the ancient Mechanicum and less so by the 40k Imperium. A photon thruster weapon, when fired, emits a screaming needle-like thin beam of pure darkness capable of piercing the densest form of matter and destroying the most highly armored soldiers and even vehicles. Number 8. Melter Weapons These melter weapons operate by creating an instantaneous sub-molecular reaction within a highly condensed pyrum petrol fuel mix contained within an ammo canister and then projecting the resultant plasma through the canister and out the weapon's barrel as an enormous heat blast. They are primarily used as anti-armor due to the ability to turn any material into molten slag. Number 9. Graviton Weapons These are very ancient weapons that date back to the dark age of technology. The sciences behind them are either classified or incomprehensible. When fired, they alter gravity to turn the target's mass against itself, effectively crushing it. All graviton weapons fire a stream of graviton particles which affects the local gravitational field of a target area. Number 10. Gravity Assisted Ballistics These unlike other ballistic weapons which are fired against enemies in the line of sight, these are used to tackle foes that are concealed or behind barriers. They basically require a shell or a grenade fired to an altitude and gravity of the planet just pulls back the ammunition back towards the target. Artillery and grenade launchers are examples of these. Number 11. The Animus Speculum these are only used by the Nulls and more specifically by the Pariah Collexus Assassins. It is bulbous and shaped like a head and when used the arcane eye of the helm opens allowing the Assassins full anti-psycho abilities to be unleashed. This weapon fires blasts of anti-psychic power from the eye which can permanently kill psychers and also demons of the warp. 
Number 12. The Conversion Beamer These are very rare pre-Horus Heresy weapons. The technology on how to build them have unfortunately been lost to time. But what we know is that this is an antimatter weapon which fires a directed energy beam of antimatter particles which cause a matter-antimatter explosion in its target. The power of these weapons increase as the distance to the target increases. Number 13. The Neural Shredder The origins of this unusual short-range weapon is unclear. While some suspect that it is produced by the Adeptus Astra Telepathica, it emits an electromagnetic energy wave in the direction of fire. This wave has the same frequency as a central nervous system, overwhelming the brain and nerve receptors and causing disastrous effect on life forms in the region of influence. Number 14. The Volkite Weapons these are basically thermal flame weapons but instead of fire, a concentrated beam of extremely hot particles are directed to a target at subsonic speeds. These possess a considerable killing power, surpassing most other armaments of their size. They can even penetrate a space marine's armor in a single shot. But the Volkite is an extremely hot weapon to manufacture. 15. Sonic Weapons these weapons vary from relatively non-lethal guns to ones powerful enough to shatter battle tanks and they are a sort of weapon that causes harm by using powerful and highly concentrated sound waves to induce oscillation in the target's material until the target substance, whether it is a live person, a structure or vehicle, it ruptures and fractures from the sonic stress. Number 16. Rat Weapons these are radiation guns which are utilized by the Imperium and most notably by the Necromondon house called Van Sar against the most dreaded of Xenos enemies. These weapons detonate with a short, intense burst of radiation and shower the immediate area with deadly radioactive fallout. So if the impact doesn't kill, the aftermath radiation will. Number 17. Phosphor or Phosphex Weapons Known in the ancient times as Phosphex Weapons and in the present grim dark days as Phosphor, they are a type of ranged weapons that fire a corrosive, toxic and flammable compound. The burning white spheres that shoot out from the Phosphor weapons cling tenaciously to their targets and burn them to ashes and only complete vacuum can quell the fire. Number 18. Vortex Weapons Vortex technology draws upon arcane energies capable of tearing a hole in the fabric of reality and generating a type of black hole that pulls everything in and occasionally spits out warp entities and demons. Even the most powerful opponents and psychers suffer catastrophic damage as a result of such an occurrence of a vortex blast. Number 19. Chem Weapons these weapons fire a mix of chemicals or a deadly poisonous gas that can kill enemy forces in massive numbers. The chem cannon of the Banewolf fires a noxious type of gas that is so toxic that it dissolves all organic material, stripping flesh from bone, before rendering even that down to a bubbling pool of ooze. Number 20. Toxiferin Weapons Used primarily during the Great Crusade and later during the Horus Heresy, these weapons are ancient and over the top. They fire a highly volatile mixture of chemicals laced with horrific toxins and psychic reactive particulate matter which earns a reputation to even rival the dreaded phosphex and molecular acids in its destructive capacity. Number 21. Missiles These are, well, unguided rockets or guided missiles that are fired from great distance, usually out of range from conventional LAS and ballistic weaponry. Missiles have warheads at the tip of their ends, which can carry all types of explosives including atomic and thermonuclear warheads. They are also employed in short range against concealed enemies and also against armor. 22. Webbers These web weapons, sometimes known as webbers or glue guns, fire a net of sticky synthetic material that is intended to immobilize rather than kill targets. Nevertheless, if the subject continues to resist, the web tightens to the point of killing the victim. Some web weapons fire an anesthetic lace web, knocking the target unconscious, but it is mostly used for crowd control. Number 23. Flamers These are basically flamethrowers that burn their foes and frequently employ promethium as a fuel. Depending on the local technology, it can also use another chemical. Promethium fuels are monopropellant fuels that ignite through a tiny pilot flame at the barrel's tip. Although some flamers use a binary hypergolic fuel that ignite when they come into contact with each other. 24. Needlers A needler is a quiet and lethal ranged weapon that kills its enemies with laser power and needles made from crystallized neurotoxin. Needlers have been used by mankind for millennia and have a lengthy and terrible history. 
A tiny size of a needle gun versus traditional projectile weapons is one of its benefits. And number 25, Anti-Phase Exodus Ammo. Although the ammunition of the Exodus rifle used by the Vindicare assassins depend on specific situations, there is a unique and peculiar type known as a shell breaker round, which at first seems just like a ballistic projectile, but it possesses an over-the-top technology known as anti-phase, which allows it to bypass conversion shielding and other types of force fields. It kinda goes in and out of reality. So those are the 25 types of Imperium ranged weapons at least their technologies in 40k. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button for support and subscribe. But most of all, smash that bell icon for regular updates on new videos right here on this channel. Take care, boys.